Hello everyone. I welcome you all to today's topic decodified session. Today we are going to talk about Nilachal Ispat Nigam Limited as the government is going to hand it over to the Tatars. We shall be covering this topic in the following sequence. Why it is in news? Key points related to Nilachal Ispat Nigam Limited. Reasons behind the disinvestment. We will know about privatization. and then about the tata steel long products company this session will also follow up with a prelims and mains practice question right to conclude our discussion with now before that i would like you all to know about the mains a 2022 program wherein you can get help for polity essay public administration and ethics you can check out the details over here and do apply soon for availing the early bird discount moving back to the topic why it is a news the strategic disinvestment of the government backed nilachal ispat nigam limited and i nl has been completed with tata steel long products limited acquiring company for rupees 12100 crore the center announced on monday tata steel arm tata steel long products tslp had in january this year won the bid to acquire 93.71% stake in odisha based ninl key points related to ninl so nilachal ispat nigam limited ninl is the 1.1 million ton integrated iron and steel plant at kalinganagar in jajpur district in odisha ninl is a joint venture of four central public sector enterprises cpscs namely metals and minerals trading corporation mmtc national mineral development corporation nmdc bharat heavy electricals limited bhel metallurgical and engineering consultants limited mecon fine odisha mining corporation and industrial promotion and investment corporation of odisha are also invested in the same reasons behind the disinvestment the company has been running in a huge loss and the plant was closed since march 2020 so it was left unoperational since march 2020 this is the first time instance of privatization of public sector steel manufacturing enterprise in india otherwise none steel manufacturing enterprises have yet been privatized before this one all right so what is privatization the transfer of ownership property or business from the government to private sector is termed as privatization the government ceases to be the owner of the entity or business so government after privatization no more is the owner of that particular enterprise that particular company that particular organization right the process in which a publicly traded company is taken over by a few people is also called privatization so not necessarily it has to be just hand over to one company from the government it can be a collective ownership of other private individuals rather than the government the stock of the company is no longer traded in the stock market and the general public is barred from holding stake in such a company the company gives up the name limited and starts using private limited in its last name so nilachal ispat nigam limited would now be known as nilachal ispat nigam private limited fine so why privatization happens privatization is considered to bring more efficiency as we have just recognized that the company was running in losses and the plant was closed since march 2020 so clearly efficiency was lacking so privatization is supposed to bring more efficiency and objectivity to the company something that a government company is not concerned about india went for privatization in historic reforms budget of 1991 also known as new economic policy or lpg policy lpg stands for liberalization privatization and globalization policy right i hope you all know about it please share your knowledge about the lpg policy in the comment box below now what are the objectives of privatization privatization is done to improve the operational efficiency of public enterprises 
to develop competitive efficiency in the industries, to generate resources for a deficit budget, for the globalization of domestic industries, to invite foreign capital, that is FDI, to earn foreign currency through export promotion. So these can be the objectives for which privatization could be considered by the government. Another few reasons could be to exploit the natural resources of the country with efficiency, to create an environment for rapid industrialization, accord priority to the welfare activities by the government, to operate public enterprise on a commercial basis, to free the government from the loss-making enterprise. This is the most crucial reason for this particular privatization of Nilanchal Ispat Nigam Limited to promote market dynamism where markets follow integral economic values of demand and supply, right? So what are the methods that could be followed to do the privatization procedure? First one is competitive bidding. We have come to know that the Tata Long Products Company actually won the bid of Nilachal, right? So in this method, the company's shares and assets are sold by the way of tender and enterprise may choose to sell an undertaking instead of the whole business. Fine. Public flotation of shares. In this method, the shares of a government held enterprise are sold to the general public by way of listing them on the stock market. Another one is private placement. Private placement refers to transferring ownership to the hands of a few private individuals. The government may decide to transfer the public company's ownership to select individuals who meet their requirement and criteria. Right? Next one could be dilution of capital. In this method, instead of selling the shares of the public sector company, the capital is raised by issuing them to the private investors. Hence, the stake of the government in such companies become diluted. Next method is management employee buyout. It involves selling off the stake of the entire or a part of enterprise to the employees. Then mass privatization could be done. It is a method by which a large number of enterprises are privatized in one go. For this, a combination of various methods mentioned above is used together. Fine. Now, what is the difference between privatization and disinvestment? So as far as privatization is concerned, the ownership will always change. As in now, Nilachal Ispat Nigam Limited is going to be owned by the Tatas and not the government. But in this investment, dilution of ownership is there and not complete foregone ownership. Then privatization happens when government of India's share holding is less than 50%. In this investment, since the ownership is not foregone, the share holding of government of India is still going to remain more than 50%, right? When it comes to privatization, overall management is with private shareholders. And when it comes to disinvestment, overall management is with government of India only, right? Privatized companies are run for profit motive, while disinvested companies can still run for non-profit motive. No government of India guarantee is there for the privatized companies, while government of India guarantee continues for the companies where this investment has taken place. Bonus surplus sharing may change when it comes to privatization and bonus and surplus sharing may or may not change when a company is disinvested in. Service charges may increase for privatized companies. Service charges always remain reasonable when it comes to the government undertakings. Claim settlement procedure for privatized companies is really tough. While as far as government companies are concerned, claim settlement is very easy. No relaxation in the rules for privatized companies. While government companies do have relaxation depending on the contingencies. There is more claim repudiation in the privatization while there is lesser repudiation when a company is disinvested in. Complicated grievance procedure take in privatized companies, the grievance procedure turns out to be very complicated while easy grievance procedure is there when the ownership is still with the government, when the company is still owned by government, just disinvested in, right? 
in privatized companies a bias in the policy holder service could be witnessed while such biasness is not there in the disinvestment case right so once a company is privatized finance ministry is going to lose its control over it now let us know more about the company that has actually won the bid for nilanchal ispat nigam limited to which the government is going to transfer the holdings right so the tata steel long products limited formerly known as tata sponge iron limited is one of india's largest merchant sponge iron manufacturers the company is engaged in production of sponge iron by direct reduction method of iron ore and power generation from the waste heat the company commenced its journey as ipi tata sponge iron limited in 1982 right now we come to the prelims practice question your question for today is this investment of public sector steel manufacturing nilachal ispat nigam limited has happened who has acquired this particular enterprise your options are a tata group b reliance group c steel authority of india and d jindal steel power limited all right put in your correct answers in the comment box below thereafter we have to discuss about the main practice question so it is explain the role of atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan to revive the economic activity you need to answer this particular question in 150 words and you can send in your answers to us on the whatsapp to get it reviewed thank you so much for joining in i shall see you again tomorrow with another topic decodified till then take care and stay tuned